Hi, I'm Krista Brisky Richard with the Chicago Park District, and welcome to the eighth season of Night Out in the Park's cultural event series. This year's presentation of cultural experiences will undoubtedly be one to remember, but equally as exceptional as all the rest. For the first time in history of this outdoor arts and culture initiative, we're taking live performances and entertainment from our neighborhood parks into your home. Join us virtually as we travel across the city to enjoy rich cultural performances by some of our city's most talented artists. More than 40 of Chicago's very own arts partners from diverse disciplines will present works available for you and your family to watch on demand from the comfort of your own home. Thanks to Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events and our newest partner, WTTW, for their continued support. Tune in to watch WTTW's presentation of Night Out in the Parks, The Stars in Your Backyard. The series of broadcast performances will feature 17 of our Night Out performers. Connect with Chicago's rich and cultural scene through our virtual series, Your Night Out at Home. Each week we'll premiere new digital performances by local artists. From dance and jazz to theater and world music, enjoy engaging entertainment in your own backyard, balcony, or living room at www.nightoutintheparks.com. Until we meet again, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you at the park really soon. On June 30th, 2019, in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, artist duo and production company Tropiteca presented their first public outdoor music festival and the first Queer Pride Festival sponsored by the Chicago Park District's Night Out in the Parks program. This is our story. Queers in the house. Queers in the house. Queers in the house. in the house. Tropiteca started off as a dance party and as a platform for our community of queer and POC artists. Our first party was in January 2015. It was winter and it was very cold. Growing up in Little Village, Chicago, I was raised on house and techno music. I was really missing being in Miami, feeling the warmth and also hearing the tropical music playing on the streets. As an artist, I really wanted to bring that Miami energy that I love to Chicago by creating a tropical environment in the club at Tropiteca. I've dealt with misogyny and harassment from men since the beginning of my musical career. I wanted a space where people can express themselves and experience underground dance music without being harassed by men. The most memorable event. I'm stuck between ICU cuties and Tropiteca Queer Pride. Chicago 2019. There's five years worth of events. Are you going to say one of those? Um, I, I mean, I think I See You Cuties and Queer Pride is probably one of our most memorable ones because we worked so hard. It was back in 2018 and we envisioned an open air Queer Pride Festival that would celebrate underground dance music and highlight a diverse lineup of artists. So we applied to partner with the Chicago Park District's Night Out in the Parks program and chose Ping Tong Memorial Park in Chinatown because it's such a hidden gem. Our vision was becoming a reality. June 30th comes and it's a beautiful summer day. We finished setting up and suddenly we notice huge gray clouds coming from downtown. They turn into a torrential downpour. People run for cover, our decorations are flying in the wind. Mother Nature just had to bring the drama. Cuties all over Chicago were praying for a rainbow. And sure enough, the downpour fizzled out, the skies cleared, and we got the party started. 
Hi, my name is Darling, and I'm here with you today at the Chopeka King Cup Park of Pride, and it is very lovely today, very uh, a nice soft breeze. Also, too, the beautiful breeze. How how can you not enjoy and appreciate that? It's always a grand time here, scrolling. Thanks for having me, Trophy. I love you all so much. I'm the alderman of the 25th Ward. Really excited about having Tropiteca event here in the 25th Ward in Pinkton Park in particular. What a better way to celebrate pride, what a better way to celebrate diversity and our identity, but in, you know, in Pinkton Park in the south side.
community that started to come and like support it just kept kept growing and it's, it's still growing and we're seeing that t tonight you know we've come a long way from yeah a monthly event to now putting a uh, bigger events together. This is our first like more of a music festival and it's also a pride festival. Our first public outdoor, all ages, free, uh, which was really exciting and perfect for this weekend since it is um, Pride weekend, 50th anniversary of like the Stonewall riots. Uh, so it was great to also like put our, um, our, our mark in history uh, in 2019. My name is Kiam, preferred gender pronouns they and them. I am a Chicago-based interdisciplinary artist and holistic healer. My performance was in two parts, right? The first was a um, performance of Moon River in Spanish. So I knew that I wanted to come in in a you know, beautiful way that um, people will remember and that I will also remember as uh, having experienced. The second part of my performance was an original song that um, I composed about um, essentially coming to realization of your own power in, in the world, right? For me personally, that's what I'm going to remember on this pride, this year's pride, is taking pride in my own message and what I'm sharing through art and through experience and through living and through showing up in the world. Yeah, taking pride in that. Show some love for Kia! How are y'all doing out there? Yes! Thank you so much for, for turning out. And you know, we had the natural you know, drama earlier and we, we, we released. Coming up next to the stage, Alex and River. My name is River Koala. And I am here tonight to read you some poetry. Are there any queer or trans fans of color in the crowd? Yeah. Thank you for making tonight so special. Today is your day, it's our day. We're here to celebrate and bask in each other's glory. I'm also hoping to honor the journey of the trans women that have paved the way for pride, really, to happen and exist. The only reason why we are able to be this free, this open, this loving, this happy, is because of their work. So, yes. this one's called Meeting Mother in the Water. I come down to the lake bearing gifts in the form of questions. 
Pachamama, Mother Earth, whispers in the tide that she loves me. Always will I thank her in bittersweet tears for protecting me. She draws me to her core, gently enveloping me, washing away my fears, cradling me. I ascend, levitate, swell. We are a monster together. We are a beauty. The stillness brings me back to my ancestral home in the stars, and I'm safely floating among the debris. I close my eyes, and behind my lids, I reunite with the constellations I witnessed at birth. I am reborn in poetry and in song, and in her arms, I am endless. Sin principio, sin fin. Alex Jenny. Does anyone know Alex Jenny in the crowd? Yes! She will be performing a drag number. also known as Whole Boss. I'm a photographer. I've been documenting my life and my, the lives of my friends here in Chicago. Music has also been a passion of mine since I was a child. So being born in Chicago, being born in the mid 80s, listening to House, Acid, New Wave, Freestyle, industrial like I grew up on all of that like that was big in Chicago when I was growing up so I kind of like to like tell people a little bit about like where I come from a little bit like of my history through music me as an artist all of my work is about love my photography is about love my DJing is about love even when it gets you know, even when I like to listen to stuff that's deep and heavy and hard and fast, it's still like about love for me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. We still got Hiroko Yamamura playing in the Tropiteca stage. I'm Roko Yamamura from Chicago. We played at uh, Tropiteca 2019, celebrating Pride. Really good time tonight. The meeting us, I think it was really cool to play somewhere like Chinatown. It's not a usual place to play. I think it's really embedded in the community too. So, um, and it's kind of just not a typical spot to go. And it's really beautiful in a nice skyline of Chicago. 
and a lot of people who live here are hanging out, so I think that's really important for a place like this. Pride, I think, is a really important thing in Chicago. Um, I think uh, being a lesbian DJ and representing at an event like this, I think it's really important. Um, and I think just doing different stuff, especially stuff that's backed up by the city, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I think I think Chicago, especially in its roots of music and house and the gay community, are really inseparable. So um, it's an honor to be able to play with a crew like this that really kind of represents a lot of important issues, talks about a lot of issues, and is really out there. So it's really an honor. Thank you. 